I went to a conference in Berlin when I first arrived last spring in Europe, conference on renewable energy and architecture. And there was this session, 100% renewable energy regions. And there were all these mayors and town councillors presenting. And I thought, are they nuts? 100% renewable energy? That must be some sort of lofty goal like zero waste or zero emissions. And I went, and Mr. Mayor of so-and-so town in Germany, and Mr. Councillor and Mrs. Councillor of this town in Austria and Switzerland were explaining how they had accomplished 100% renewable energy already. But you know what they started with? Every one of them. They didn't talk about, first we put up the wind turbines and the solar panels, and we spent a lot of money on generation. Every one of them said, first we started by making our town or our region as efficient as possible. The low-hanging fruit was conservation. The things that we knew would work were blowing insulation into the walls, caulking, putting in a public transit system. Those weren't going to fail. We could show the taxpayer this will work and knew that it would be a success that we could then tout to everyone and say, now do you want to go further? Now that we've cut our energy demand by 50%, guess what? That's 50% fewer wind turbines, photovoltaic panels, biomass heating systems that we have to pay for. And that applies to us in our homes, that applies to us as a country, applies to us here in Ottawa. Seen these already, running low on time. So to me, you've seen already, why am I passionate? Why am I so energized? Why do I love to get in front of a group like you? Because I know what I've been able to do myself. I know what other communities have been able to do. But I also know that if I want to go further, I need you. And we all need each other. Because I know that we each hit a limit at a certain point where I can't do it all myself. I've done the easy stuff in my home. I want to put photovoltaic panels on my roof, but at the moment, they don't pay for themselves. But if I had a government energy policy like Germany's, where they guaranteed a premium rate for renewable energy because society has decided that's a goal they want to get to, if I had that, then instead of investing in the stock market, how's that working for you today? Instead of investing in other vehicles where we're a little dubious about, but where's my money actually going? Is it actually achieving it? Back to that question of integrity. Is my money going the same place that I want my values to be projecting? Can I do more with that? When we have the right policies, the right tax incentives that allow us to actually make money out of doing the right thing, then we really go places. So trying to be nonpartisan and apolitical here, I am pleased that our current government in Ontario has just passed the Green Energy Act. It's not perfect, in my opinion. I think it's kind of contradictory when they say, well, we can do some things on renewable energy and we're going to spend $28 billion more dollars on nuclear, new nuclear plants when we haven't even paid off the debt for the last ones. And when I've seen what other communities can go, I would say to them, and I do, and I have, how about if we do everything we can to get really efficient and renewable first? And then if we reach the point where we say, ah, that's still not enough, if we reach that point, I don't believe we will, then we can have the debate about is it nuclear or is it coal or is it something else that we know has an impact. We have far more power than we often know, and it's very energizing to use it. Thank you very much.